Hi, this is Joy. I'm working on, um, I'm going to tell you some stuff today. We're going to talk about the footers, the concrete that I'm working on in the future, how much to order, so forth, the tools I'm using, um, the math I'm using, how to figure it all out, and um, some of the, the lumber and so forth. So uh, let's uh, get started and we'll go from there. This is my part of the journey. I'm really excited about it and I hope that you learned something. Let's see here. Here's my notes. Pardon my chicken scratch here. We're going to talk first about concrete. Um, so uh, I'm building a um, shed that's 10 by 14. And so my footers actually are going to be 18 inches wide by 18 inches deep. So it's interesting because con the concrete people, I have to specifically say no slab because they're used to pouring um, footers that are like six inches high and then a slab on top of it so it's all one solid box looking flat thing um, but anyway um, I did call one concrete company and uh, let's see I told him I needed 60 feet which I'll tell you how I got that in a minute and he told me um, it's five yards which um, he says five and a half yards and uh, that's because uh, let's see the half truck um, let's see so the Half cubic yard allows for spillage and, you know, estimate, things like that. I guess they make a mess when they do it. Who knows? But uh, he said $725 with tax, and then that would be half a truckload. So $725. Ouch. All right. All right. Now, I also spoke with another guy, which I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, keep in mind, um, some of this we're dealing with cubic yards. This is not a regular yard we're talking about. He gave me an estimate for $500. Um, let's see here. The truck order itself would be six yards minimum. Keep in mind, I only need five, allowing for half of it to be t spilled all over the place, I guess. So it would be, I would also be charged an $80 on top of the $500, $80 short load fee because I would only need so much. So I asked him, I said, well, what does that mean as far as what's going to happen to the extra? He's like, oh, well, we take it back and dump it out. I'm thinking, you're going to do that? And I'm giving you 80 bucks to do that? Uh, no. So anyway, um, I was researching on uh, different things, and it was, you know, different YouTube videos and just reading different things. And it says, always have a batch backup project um, so that you can use the ex excess. So I don't know if I'm going to have a little walkway in front of my, you know, another little outbuilding that I have. I don't know if I'm going to port in the driveway and try to fix the driveway a little bit. Um... You know, because there's a little dip in it. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that. But uh, I'm not spending an extra $80 just to have it dumped when he gets back home. So I'll be using that. So I guess I'm ordering six yards for $500. Sounds good to me. So let's see here. What else do we have? Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about footers here. So once again, I said my shed was going to be a 10 by 14. Now, if it's 18 inches wide on both sides... All around looking at the math here we've got 18 inches wide um, and if you're adding that to both sides let's say here 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 and here then that would give us let's see 36 inches divided by 12 which would be 12 inches a foot would be three feet so you're adding three feet to each side so that gives us our let's see 10 turns to 13 as far as the um, the uh, do, 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 outer footer and 14 um, is, you know, kind of turns into 17 as far as the outer footer. So when I did my math and sent it to them, telling them how much I needed and so forth, I did 17 plus 17 plus 13 plus 13 equals 60 linear feet. Because this is only feet, we're not talking cubic feet. And uh, just tell them what I needed for 60 feet. And this is the price that they gave me. So let's see here. I have a little bit of notes here. Um my footers. What am I using for my footers? Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the wood that I have here, and it's kind of a combination of this and plywood and everything. So, it kind of looks like a lumber yard here. But anyway, it's it's all organized. I'll show you at a little bit of distance here. Um, got a lot of shade going on, so it's kind of hard to see, but if you'll notice, there's purple all over this stuff. Okay, this is not because the people at Home Depot um, just decided to be friendly. What it is, is this means this is all wood that's 70% off. So that means that if something is $1.50, it is now $0.45 cents for me. So, let's see. The 2x2 two two pieces I'm going to show you in a minute. Those are about $1.50 a piece. And some of these, these uh, let's see. 
this right here is like a one by two, a bunch of these here, which these are great for tomato steaks and so forth. Um, it's like 98 cents, I think off the top of my head. It turns into 29 cents is how much I pay for it. So, okay, why would they mark it off? Because it might have, let's see, if you can see right here, it might have a split in it. Or it might be bowed. You could jump on it. Okay? It might have knots in it like that, which means it may break easy if, uh, if the knots are, you know, just, just so in a certain pattern or, you know, close to, you know, like take up the majority of the wood. Ooh, rebar. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that in another video, but I got my rebar. I'm so excited to finish my wooden footers and get that rebar in, get it all tied up with these little twisty tie things and this fancy little tool that my concrete guy let me borrow. So let's see here. Let's go over here. And I'm going to show you my tool table. All right. These are the tools that I use most lately. All right. Right here. Got, got my saw. Rigid. Don't know a lot of what it's called. But uh, let's see. I wanted to show you this. All right. Now, this is a let's see, busted. All right. Busted on the end. But it doesn't mean that it can't be used. We're going to saw it. And uh, you're going to get to see how the saw works. Because I had to actually Google how the saw worked. I had to use a YouTube video. So this way, at least, maybe you won't have to. All right. Got a little button. So we're going to push the button here. And we're going to pull the trigger. So push the button, pull the trigger at the same time. And you're going to lay it flat. Don't wiggle it side to side. Don't wiggle it up and down. Just lean it flat against the board. Make sure that your blade, is said, is cut to a quarter of an inch below the piece of wood that you're cutting. So that may not be perfect, but anyway, let's see what we got. All right, I'm gonna set this down a little bit. Let's see, okay, I'm holding it with my elbow. By the way, do not do this at home with your elbow. All right, thumb trigger, let's see what we got. It jammed. That's all so special. Yeah, probably operator error as usual. Okie dokie. This thing's heavy. Alright, anyway, there's our first cut and uh, there's the second cut. Okay, and I like to set it on the side so that the blade hangs over. I don't know why. And by the way, it's got this lovely little guard. So um, the guard moves on its own when you start to drill. Okay, got my Milwaukee tape measure, 25 feet. Because the other one wasn't long enough to measure the 14 feet. Milwaukee pen, this is great for marking lumber. Which is fabulous. It just marks right on it. Okay, because I've noticed a Sharpie just somehow doesn't mark as good. Alright, got my Milwaukee drill. This is awesome. It help hooks on your belt. It's got these little pieces, they're magnetic, and they just pop in and out. So if you're using different size screws, Phillips head, all that, it works. Now, okay, here's a bowed piece of wood. What am I gonna do with it? Well, saw it in a whole bunch of pieces. I'll show you the measurements. Let's see, you know the measurements, they're 24 inches. And so this actually is a piece, let's see if you look at my notes here, because I label the different pieces. Okay, yeah, it's so this one goes this way, so I don't forget. It's a two foot section, this is a three foot section, and it's going to hook up to an eight foot section, which the eight, 19, 11, 12, 13, that's gonna go on my backside for my 13 footer that I need. So what I do, let's see, I got this. If you'll notice, I do a little bit of an overhang because it's easier to kind of get it centered if you need to move it a half an inch in or out rather than dragging the rock all over the place. You know, it's snagging on the rock. So I clamp it down, clamp it, and shadow is here so it's like screw 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 if it's on a joint i use more this is just in the way sorry i just use more screws sometimes four or five per joint let's see here let's go over here let's take a look and see what we have done okay by the way this is the entire thing i'm so excited okay looking down this right here are you serious oh no it's still recording good freak me out for a minute okay this right here is actually a combination of two sections. Um, this is the outer side. It's eight and then eight. And then at the end, you got a little one foot section. So, and then I mark it 
right here saying half that tells me that I'm going to overlap it with one of my posts half half and if you'll notice it's got these little marks on it with my little pen I'll show you what that's for all right this board here is actually a um I do all this over there um where I was just cutting at I'm just laying it here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about um so before I screw anything onto it um let's see this is a brace so it says uh, to form braces 15 inches each on center. So where these little ma black marks are, it's like, you know, every 15 inches, there's a little black mark. What are these black marks for? It's so that I can put it at the top like so, follow these marks. Let's see here. Where's my marks at? Okay. Yep. It shows me where to screw at. So there's a mark. There's a mark. There's a mark. And so forth. Now, I'll move it halfway down line it up with the end there's my mark my screw some of them aren't exact but at least it tells me what I need to do and then of course at the bottom do the same thing all right I didn't really show you my clamps too well over there but what I'll do is I clamp top clamp at the bottom three screws all right so that's one of my 17 foot sections I got another 17 foot section over here um, I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like, which is what you're seeing of all of that, because that's the inner frame that's done. Now, right here, this is the other side that you didn't see. So this is another 17 foot section. Got all these little boards here, and what it is over here, we've got another lumber yard going on. These are pieces from Home Depot that are actually put upside down like so. A plastic ribbon runs underneath, or whatever they call it, and it's used as pallets. It holds all the boards and plywood and all that together. If you look real good, these are generally kicked under the um, the shelves and so forth. These are free, okay? So, and they're solid. They're solid as heck. These aren't going anywhere and they last forever. So, why do I want to buy lumber? Anyway, it just takes a little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of, you know, I like to layer it. I've been uh, overlapping each board so that each one Let's see, this is a two, one of the 2 by 4s If you'll notice, it had a, I don't know if you can see it on the video too well, it's got a split right there. Okay, so I'm going to stand this one up for you, and you're going to get to see what no one else has seen before. Let's see what we got. Whoa, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, look, there's purple on the end of that board. Yep, 70% off, baby. So, a little bit of shadows going on. But this is how wide it's going to be. It's going to be really neat. And there are leaves all in it. Alex says it's a Florida thing. I have no idea. But anyway. All right. So putting that down for right now because I'm going to put all the pieces together in a little bit. Now, 